hello guys in this video we are going to show you how to dump the hashes um, from Metasploit and I'm going to show you two different ways to uh, three different ways to do it one is doing the hash dump the other one is doing the credential collector and the other one is by loading a Kiwi or basically uh, mimic cats in here so the way that we do that let's go ahead and start by doing a search and I want to search for hash dump and this is the module that Metasploit has and it's the post windows gather hash dump and from here we are going to just use um, number 17 and if you go to options all you need to do is set the session my session is set to number eight that's good that's the one that I want to run it on and let's see what we get from here there we go so for this one as you can see this one is only dumping the same um, basically it's only dumping the uh, the local accounts I don't really need those because I am already a local admin but I'm just going to go ahead and create an nano hash document and I'm going to paste them in here let's go ahead and go to the top and I want to put it in here that I got it from this one over here right copy it and paste it awesome so now the other one that I want to use is the um, credential collector and the credentials collector will collect the hash dump as well as the tokens um, so if we do you know if we do a let's say um, let's do a search and do for call what is it called it's called credential uh, underscore collector and this is the one that I want to use over here there is another one basically does the same but it also dumps the tokens that you can use so let's go ahead and use zero and let's go ahead and do options and see what we can find only asking you for the session if your session is not set go ahead and set your session over here mine is already set so I'm just going to go ahead and run it and as you can see over here this one will give you the tokens and as you can see over here we have another user called ipsec so that's cool uh, on the next one I'm going to show you how to dump the hashes for the domain um, users which is what I'm interested right now so let's go ahead and paste that in here and let's go ahead and tell it that we got this from this one over here let's go ahead and go to the top let's just paste paste it in here awesome so now the next one that we're going to be doing is the Kiwi we are going to be using Kiwi and Kiwi basically works from the interpreter so let's go ahead and do a clear or clearer there we go and then we can go to session number eight and from here what you want to do is you want to go ahead and load kiwi that's the first thing you want to do now mine is already loaded so it's not going to load and then after you load kiwi you can do help and from the help commands it, you can see that it's going to display the kiwi commands as, as well as the other ones that you can do hash dump that's the one that we already used and you know let's go ahead and you can either do the crest or dump Kerberos dump, the live SSD dump, um, the MSD, which is the one that we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and paste it in here. Awesome. So let's go ahead and go to Parrot OS, or I'm sorry, let's go ahead and go back to the interpreter section and let's go ahead and run this command. Boom. There you go. So this one over here, we can go ahead and copy it, paste it in nano for the document that we have open. And let's paste that bad boy in I guess I didn't copy it copy and now we can go ahead and paste it also so right here you can see that we have the LM the NTLM which is the hash that we want to and the SHA-1 so this is the, the the hashes that we're going to be working for you can see that we have the administrator for the domain is voucher so this is the local administrator uh, we don't really care about that uh, we have the ipsec which is in the pen testing domain so this one is the one that we care about so when you get you know hashes you were you wonder like what can we do with those hashes right uh, what you could do is we can use a tool that we used before which is crack map exec and we try to see if we have any you know any access uh, uh, to to any of the machines if this one over here um, has you know local admin access to one of those machines so that's why you want to use crack map exec for that and we are going to copy the NTLM for that and what we're going to be doing is 
like I said, we're going to be using crack map exec. We're going to be using SMB. Um, we can do one and two thousand six that one that fifty all the way to one and two thousand six that one that um, fifty five. That's the range that we are using. The user is going to be ipsec. Um, the password is going to be a hash, right? I believe it's a capital H. Paste that in there and let's go ahead and run it and see what we get from here. And it went for only that 55. And so it didn't do for the entire domain. Do we have to remove the space in here? And that's what it was. So you can see now that it went for 55, 50, 53, 55 again and 53 and for 53 if you have noticed over here it says that it's pawn which means that we um, this user over here has local admin access so what can you do for that from there what we're going to be doing is on the next video of course we're going to be doing some lateral movement since we found that the ipsec user has um has local admin access um to this to that machine so therefore, I will see you on the next video.